Uh, the big focus this hour, the Kerala High Court has observed that forcing or inducing children to write or recite any prayer contrary to their parents' choice at the Vidya Rambam ceremony will be anathema to free thought and freedom of belief. Justice Devan Ramachandran has made an observation that the program is for the initiative of knowledge and children cannot be forced to write or recite any prayer contrary to their parents' choice. He stated, and I quote, the choice to participate in the program is with the individual parents and there can be no warrant from them or their child to be compelled to do what they do not want to. With this observation by the Kerala High Court, the question that arises is, is this a correct way to go about or will this cause a further religious division? Joining us at this point is uh, Shram Ravish Rain, senior lawyer, Supreme Court. We also have Rad Lakshmi Joshi, political analyst, joining us live. Feroz Bhakti Ahmed, Muslim thinker, is joining us on the broadcast. Also with us is Utpal Kaul, historian. Let me uh, get started with you first, uh, Shram Ravish. Uh, your uh, interpretation of this order by the Kerala High Court, uh, do you agree with the observation, with the judgment, with the order? Do you believe this is the right way to go? Yes, yes, of course, it is the right right way to go. That this will this is a good way wherein every parent would be inclined towards sending their their kids for for knowledge. So if because because many parents would have a problem if their kids to uh, uh, go 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 to a different religious place. So when they are sending their kids to a library to a school, uh, making this thing in their mind that it is a non-religious place where they will understand about equality, understand about uh, human rights and, and other things which are not re religious. So for them, understanding that is more important. So I think that the court has made a very good observation that unless and, and until it is the parents' choice, you can't force the kids to do anything. Because that's that's what we actually see. If you just have to be little uh, stronger with your voice or uh, little uh, uh, little th uh, little bit of stronger only then a kid would be able to to do it and and if you force a kid to do something that that kid doesn't want to do or of or if he wants to do but the parents don't want to do so it would become a problem for the kids let the let the kids grow uh, if if the kids are 14 or or something eight and they themselves want to do it let them do it then. But if you have a younger kid, let the parents keep the keep the authority in their hand, and they let them take the right decision what for for the kids. Right, uh, Rad Lakshmi Joshi, do you believe that uh, you know this this was needed because uh, children are being divided in schools as well, which many believe is very unfair. I've talked about that. Uh, you know, this, I think, uh, is an unnecessary controversy uh, because uh, this is on a day of Vidya Rambam, which is on the day of, you know, Sharda Puja. And uh, this, is, this has always been a very uh, auspicious occasion for all uh, Hindus to be able to initiate their uh, kids into uh, learning. So the first letter, alphabet, the first letter, you know, that is the way in which it is initiated. So all these rituals are there and every religion has their own rituals. Now, uh, you know, this controversy is coming out of the fact that somehow, for some reason, you know, uh, uh, most of these uh, rituals, they are being either diluted or they're being corrupted or, you know, a lot of other things are being added into it. And then uh, what? Uh, what is the insecurity or what the fear of uh, Hindus is that, you know, this will no longer remain uh, a Hindu uh, uh, festival. So like, for example, now today, if you see in West Bengal, they say that Durga Puja is not a Hindu festival at all. So they are free to interpret Mata Durga, you know, in any way uh, they wish. And, uh, you know, what happens is uh, a lot of the depictions, it hurts the sentiments of Hindus. So that, uh, so now when you start saying that this is a secular festival and this is not a festival of Hindus, so they don't have any say in it. So, you know, that causes a lot of controversy. Similarly, now if you see this uh, thing, the festival of Garva and Dandia, that has also become something like a commercial uh, issue. And uh, we, uh, recently there was this issue where, uh, in fact, a girl was saying that we don't need Tinder because we have uh, Garva. So, you know, this a very auspicious festival of Garba, the way in which it was being celebrated, has been reduced to something like a 
मैच मेकिंग और समथिंग लाइक अ डेटिंग साइट सो यू नो सो दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ इश्यूज वेयर नाउ विद्या रंगम इट इट इन इट इज इनिशिएटेड बाय सम एल्डर्स बाय से मे बी इन मोस्ट केसेस द पेरेंट्स और द रिलीजियस गुरुज और समबडी सीनियर and it is initiated with uh, you know certain alphabets like om shri even uh, shashi tharoor ji has been initiating a lot of kids in this way you know you have seen some of his past uh, tweets where he has initiated uh, kids into education he has done that but then uh, I, I, what i see is a lot of people probably had a problem with writing om shri and so that is why they have started with this thing where they give people options Or you know you can say Allah Akbar, or you can say uh, something about uh, Jesus. So it is that it's like saying that if I hold a say maybe a mass prayer on the day of Christmas or on Eid, and then I give people a choice that you can listen to say maybe a bhajan or an arti in favor of Ganesh Ji, I'm sure that people will not like that. So you know that is why this controversy has arisen, and I'm uh, it is sad that. the court had to actually give this kind of a direction because uh, you know there have been instances where in schools uh, people uh, students have been made to be a part of multiple religious practices so i mean th- in the name of secularism i don't think that people should actually meddle with religious uh, sentiments and that they should not this not a uh, some place where you know you should meddle into somebody else's uh, religious sentiments so i think that religion should be kept out of all these things so anybody who feels that vidyarambam is a on auspicious day they should follow it wholeheartedly why do you want to dilute it why do you want to corrupt it or add your own thing into it this is what i feel about it today absolutely uh, you know firoz bak tamad if i can quickly uh, okay sham ravish yes you wanted to come in there i think sham ravish has a quick uh, yes response go ahead yes i would i i would here here like to say that what is the problem if someone is a hindu or or a christian wants to celebrate eid let them say celebrate hum log hum log namaz pad lenge aap log pooja kar lo what the harm Radha same is if someone someone wants wants to cel- celebrate something else it's okay point is that the Radha kid Radha wants Radha. to know What 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 it is it it actually doesn't matter. Point is that everyone should know what's the harm in knowing something that that there is something some if if I if I get to know how a Durga Puja is done how something else else is done it's okay. Ude, I don't have an issue with other people celebrating each other's religions, but why do you want to change the pattern? Why do you want to change the ritual? Don't dilute it. Like uh, if somebody wants to celebrate Eid and uh, uh, celebrate some puja together, okay. But then you are not going to go there and celebrate all of it together. Okay. And then say this is a Eid celebration. I have never seen that happen, and I know for a fact that you will also never do that. So this is all I, good. I I have, sure I have been doing it since my childhood. So I have been doing it since my childhood. I have always done it. Islam party, but you will never meddle with any of the Islamic rituals. You will never meddle with any of the Christian rituals. But Hindu rituals are like yes, anybody can come, and it's a secular thing. So you know when it comes even, to even even Islam, Islam, even Islamic, even Islamic thing is right? also also very the like that. Point is, is that you it. all have people want to divide. You know, Hindus in the name of Sanatan Dharma is different. Hinduism is different. No one Hinduism is. is no one is dividing us. Yes, yeah. it's good it to know. It. No, and that is the reason. That why is a very. That is a very wrong point on your point. No, so no, it's 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 actually wrong. You should, should know. It's an appropriate it's for everyone Hinduism to get to know about Hindu, about Muslim, about Sikh, about Christian. It's always good to know about everyone. So what yes. the harm harm over know. there? Good to yeah. know, but then don't change the ritual. Don't change the ritual is what I'm saying. So today, like you know, people are depicting Mata Kali and Mata Durga in any which way they want because according to them, Durga Puja has some different connotation okay. in uh, Bengali culture. Okay, Utpal Kaur wanted to come in there. Utpal Kaur, is this an attempt to divide students? Is this an attempt to politicize schools? Your take? Uh, let me tell you on the order and this debate. Yes. Let me tell you what it is. Uh, when I went to first day 
to my school. Uh, I was, I think, five years old kid. <clears throat> In our home, it was Vidya Aram was done by my grandfather, who was a celebrated teacher, and we wrote on a plate there was uh, the soil, and we wrote, we write Om Swasti Sadam. That means the Vidya Aram starts. Let everything will be okay, and it will be a blessed thing. Let you be the knowledgeable person. That is the that is the one sentence we use it, and it is done in Kerala on uh, Sharda Ashtami or uh, uh, the, oh, Sharda. Sharda is the mother goddess of Kashmir. We say, but uh, for whole of. Uh, Indian subcontinent and Sanatana and Hinduism, Sharda is the mother of uh, mother goddess of knowledge like Saraswati. So uh, it's a tradition for thousands of years. Now, what is happening in the name of uh, uh, say uh, what Raja Lakshmi said uh, on secularism or constitution and all? The <laughs> right step, so we introduce our new inter interpretations. But uh, what I say that this is a beautiful ceremony going on for thousands of years. Somebody has started saying we can do it in library, another we can do it in hospital, we can do it here and we can do it there. Let the tradition, it is, it's not something bad. It's not something where, uh, it's something violence. It's not, it is a something to go for, for a kid, for knowledge and for wisdom, uh, be a good person in uh, life. So it, let us keep the tradition. India is a country of uh, thousands of years where we have adopted these uh, rituals and uh, customs for thousands of years, which are on the right direction. If there would be something bad and uh, which harms the society, then we should delete it. But I think we should go according to our tradition. We don't need to... Uh, um, I may not say what the, uh, I will not uh, say the, what the Honorable Court has said, but I think let us keep uh, the tradition. Like I, like I tell you, like, like uh, now uh, we were talking about uh, celebrating Eid. Celebrating Eid doesn't mean have a lot of mutton and have such a nice party. Eid also has sacrifice. Eid also has to go and offer namaz and have namaz at a, a, a at, at masjid at Eidga. Now you cannot say all Hindus to go and pray there. Have have a masjid or I am organizing a havan. I will not tell all Muslims to come. Now we have a secularism in our country and how come and have havan there. Let us respect each other's religion. Let us let us respect each other's sentiments and keep our tradition and culture alive. And so uh, this culture is of nearly 10,000 years back because uh, we don't have time. I would have explained it. There's a mekla also. Mekla means that a small kid is given a kind of a belt. So uh, this belt is that now you, uh, you you have to go to manhood, you have to go uh, to study. And so you have to be smart, you have to be active. And now write that we bless you and now you will be knowledgeable. So it's a beautiful tradition. And I was just, when I got the call from uh, NewsX that I have to participate in the debate, <laughs> I remember what happened in 1961 when I went to... <coughs> So it is such a beautiful thing. Let us keep it like that and not uh, uh, inter, uh, inter interfere or interpret it indifferently. That's my take. Thank you. Right. Uh, also, uh, I'm being told Firoz Bakhtemad has uh, joined us now again uh, on the broadcast. Firoz Bakhtemad, if you're able to hear me now, you know clearly the jury is out on whether this, uh, you know, this this were at, these were attempts at politicization of schools. These were attempts at hijacking students, uh, you know, into religious uh, ceremony, ceremonies and sermons forcefully. Uh, and now this order by the Kerala High Court. What do you make of it, Firoz Bakhtemad? Do you believe this is the Am right I way to go? To is this the right way to go? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Ah, okay, wonderful. You know, in fact, uh, since I have jo joined just now, because I was uh, not at home, I have come back. Now, I fully agree. I was listening to Mr. Utpal, uh, Mr. Call. I fully agree with the sentiments of Mr. Call. And you are right that, you know, the court uh, 
actually should not interfere as far as as far as schools are concerned as far as some religious uh, institutions are concerned uh, this uh, system of recitation of whatever it is whether it is uh, the holy uh, ramayana the holy gita the holy quran bible whatever it is because as mr call was saying you see even if you understand its meaning or not first of all let me state that many people tell me <coughs> that uh, the students in madrasas or maybe other places at homes they learn the holy quran by heart they do it without a single mistake of uh, zair zabar or pesh which are actually the voices but they don't know the meaning some of them say that they are uh, you know uh, just learning it like parrot now the thing is it is a holy text whether it is from ramayana it is from gita it is from holy quran or any other religious scripture right anything which is holy which is pious should be kept that way all right yes you should know the meaning but you can't say that the student uh, should not recite anything from any of these scriptures which i have named or even i have not named without knowing the meaning because there are there are things you know as mr call has said that whether it is said in sanskrit or in uh, say arabic or hebrew or any other language whatever the language is right or maybe english so whatever is pious whatever is uh, uh, you know sanctified by a religious scripture or any god whom uh, so ever you follow i think it should uh, uh, with all due regards with all due regards to the court order finally last 5 seconds that uh, yes the court is right on its uh, own parameters that whatever the child recites from a holy scripture or, or any other place he should know the meaning but at the same time it is good if he knows the meaning but even if he does not know the meaning we know that he is reciting it either from torah either from uh, the ramayana holy ramayana the holy quran or the holy bible or any other scripture so i believe uh, i i am not going to be critical of courts uh, uh, you know uh, judgment because courts judgment actually has to be respected and regarded by all means but i think interference we uh, sh- at this level should not be there this is what my feelings are for this uh, decision by the court okay uh, let me uh, quickly uh, yes uh, b- uh, bring in reactions now sham ravi shain wanting to jump back into the debate sham ravi shain please go ahead uh, and also now mm-hmm. on this debate over ucc many believe that that will perhaps be one way of ironing out these differences and ironing out you know dif- uh, differentials between all faiths in the country um no as as mr call and mr ahmed and ms ms joshi has said i respect all of that i'm i would here just like to give a very small example in delhi we have a a, a sikh school named the guru har krishna school that school is a very good school wherein i would love that my kids go and go and study over there but if they are some kind of grant which i don't believe in if i am a muslim and and i i don't believe in 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 sikh sikh sikhism but i would love love that my kids get to know that what is the exact religion so so for that i am sending my my <coughs> kids over there but it does not mean that they have to read the complete uh, holy book and then get to know about it just read the basic one if they want to it's on them so same same ways we have a christian school we have a islam school so you might want to send your kids over there but it does not mean that you have to you have to completely understand it and you have to complete you are there for your english hindi math science all not for the re- religion purpose so the high court has rightly said that it is on the parents unless and until the kid is 14 or something wherein the kid starts understanding a lot of things it's on them but but uh, actually be, 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 before that schools and colleges should not be a place where you are promoting the religion religion is supposed to be kept at the re- religious place let it be a very neutral place every kid should know that there are different kind of 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 religion let them also get to know about it but yes let them believe what they a want small to reflection. yeah just 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 a second mr hemad similarly i would give a very again i why why i am saying this that because i i i myself i am practicing it for a very small example i am married into a hindu family i i do my namaz i do my eid my entire family yeah. cel- celebrates eid i am doing 
doing namaz early, early morning whereas my entire family is doing puja in the mandir so it does not mean that they are they are they cannot celebrate eid so it's you who has to who has to set the line what do you want to do so i do all the islamic thing they do all the, all the hindu thing but it it does not mean that i am trying to change them or they are trying trying to change me or my religion so that that is the whole point of the judgment let it be there let everyone understand it the way it is supposed to be understood if someone is sending their kids to a to a place where in uh, this this uh, this ceremony is happening let me also go and go and understand ki ye hota kya hai how it's done but it does not mean that i want that that my kid starts starts writing om or or something or the other so let it be the parents choice till the age of 14 and after 14 let it be the kids choice don't force anything on the kids because as as it is said that the kid grows from the age till the age of 7 you will get a man of the future so till 7 whatever you will preach that kid that kid will be T- 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 teaching it to the next next generation so you have to teach that kid that it's okay we are a place where different kind of re- religions are going to be there and you have to respect and and understand everyone it does not mean that nahi nahi hindus ka hai to to sirf hindu hindu jayenge why can't i go and learn that kya hota hai what is garba what is uh, puja what is durga puja why can't i just go and see it and if in case i like it i can also do do that puja over there if i want to same way if someone says ki bhai eid ke din hum log na namaz padhte okay you are not supposed to go and read the namaz you can go and sit in a corner at a mosque see what is happening if at all you feel like it you can sit there fold your hands do your uh, uh, dua in your heart and you can do that you there is a way to learn things and this is the only way wherein you have you have to go to a different place Sit there, see, observe, and then learn. Please continue, Mr. Ahmed. You want to just say something? Yes, Feroz Bakht. You see, uh, I, I congratulate Shamsri on whatever uh, words she has expressed, and also congratulations uh, to her for this communal concord. She is married into some other family. National integration, wonderful, fine. And having said that, let me tell you one thing that I myself have uh, grown. with my hindu friends i was at a school which was a missionary school and every day you know we used to say this uh, what they <clears throat> call this uh, prayer this god's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come i never felt any kind of a uh, grumbling effect having said that so i mean nothing is en- enforced if you go to an institution which is uh, maybe uh, a christian institution or maybe a sikh institution and you know whatever prayer they are i mean uh, uh, narrating in the assembly or maybe anywhere in the zero period or moral science period uh, of that class so anything which is from a from a scripture and even if i do not belong to that religion right there is no harm right and uh, you know uh, once again you talked about uniform civil court i am in favor of it i mean this is not a debate on uniform civil court but uh, <clears throat> apart from that i would say that if there is anything from the holy bible the holy quran the holy quran or any other uh, you know say like the holy ramayana and if a student uh, belonging to some other reli- religion if he or she is a student there if you give us she is reciting that i think there is no harm in that we should respect and regard very uh, rightly said by shamsmi in the beginning that i respect and regard all the religions so and let me tell you one very interesting thing you know there is one person uh, somewhere in uttar pradesh mr qadri he has translated the holy quran into sanskrit and uh, the gita the holy gita into arabic and he said i have written about him that 60% of uh, the holy gita and the holy quran they are almost verbatim same except the change of language so let us respect and regard all these scriptures these are the beauties of india these are the be- uh, wonderful things right so we yes. should stay with them that is what i just want to wanted to say after some sri's remark okay i'm i'm <laughs> excuse me i'm running out of time uh, let me quickly give a last word to radlakshmi joshi Uh, and utpal ko 30 seconds to you both uh, 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 i really uh, respect and i like it that uh, 
Miss Ren, you know, she has been uh, practicing uh, her own religion yes. and her uh, family is, uh, you know, they are uh, in the perfect harmony, you know. But then I would say that this is a very ideal example. Now, uh, the, the objection I had or the objection a lot of people have is when somebody goes to say maybe they celebrate Durga Puja, uh, they want to, they say that they are appreciating and they love the idea for Durga Puja, but then at the same time they portray uh, Mata Durga in a very, uh, you know, distasteful way, in a way in which it hurts the sentiments of Hindus. So I think that, you know, that if you really respect and you want to understand and you want to appreciate <coughs> someone else's religion, you should be able to respect it at well, as well and don't distort it, don't uh, corrupt it and don't dilute it is all I have to say. So don't, you know, don't change somebody's, uh, somebody else's rituals or somebody else's culture in the name of trying to understand it. You know, that is what I was saying. So the quote is very right in saying that somebody cannot be forced to uh, recite or to write anything of somebody else's religion. But I'm just saying that it is uh, sad that, you know, in today's times, under the name of secularism, a lot of people are actually doing that, that they are forcing young kids who don't know the meaning and, uh, uh, you know, they don't understand what they're doing. They're forcing them to perform somebody else's rituals under the name of secularism. That is absolutely wrong. And the person should be old enough to understand what exactly they're doing, not just follow somebody else's ritual in the name of secularism. That is my point, Uday. Uh, Utpal Kaur. I have to give one example. My uh, parents, grandfather, father, they are students from Christian school and they were attending mass and uh, they were perfectly all right. And there were only four teachers in Christian school where 1000 Kashmiri Hindu and Muslims were there and they all attended mass. There is no problem. And then I was student of a DAV school, Arya Samaj school, and we were also 1,000 students, Hindus and Muslims. And in the, every day in the prayers, we would say, Om Jau Shanti, Shanti, Antariksha Gun Shanti. And Muslim kids would remember it more than us. And so there was perfect harmony. There was no problem. And on Fridays, we could, uh, Saturdays, we could organize Havan. And then for Muslim students, there would be one teacher who would uh, recite Holy Quran for them. But it was perfect harmony. There was no introduction of some secularism yes. or high judgment or anything. We can live together and understand and respect each other. That is the most important point. And never allow these uh, so-called, who call themselves as liberals and uh, seculars, and that's, they are the people who are damaging our real inner uh, soul of India. Thank you very much. Let's take a break. My thanks to all of our guests for joining us. We've run totally out of time. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.